When paying with Apple Pay, you need to authenticate yourself to the secure element of the iPhone device using a biometric ID. This could be a fingerprint, a face ID or a pin code. Once you authenticate yourself on the iPhone, the secure element on the iPhone takes on the following steps. It generates a dynamic cryptogram, which is the combination of the payment token, transaction amount, transaction counter, along with the payment token key. And it also generates a dynamic card verification value. This value is nothing else than the three-digit code on your credit cards for security. The secure element then passes the payment token, the dynamic cryptogram, and the dynamic card verification value, as well as other payment and chip data elements, to the point of sale terminal. So this is the device device where you normally put your iPhone near to it to initiate the payment. And this is done via near field communication. So this is also the reason why you do not need to physically contact the point of say terminal, but you can just hold your iPhone in a range of a couple of centimeters away from the point of say terminal. So the information is passed on contactless. The point of sale terminal then sends the request to the merchant's bank, which in turn forwards the payment to the payment network. So this could be Visa, MasterCard or another payment network. The payment network then identifies that the request is a payment token and not a real accounting number based on so-called BIN tables. This is why the payment network accordingly passes the payment token and the dynamic cryptogram to the token service provider to obtain the associated primary account number, so the real account number of your account. The token service provider receives the payment token and the dynamic cryptogram. Once the request is validated, the token service provider looks up the primary account number associated with the payment token and returns the customer's real primary account number to the payment network. The payment network then passes the primary account number along with the transaction details and the dynamic security code to the issuer bank for transaction authorization. So this would be your own bank where your account is listed. The issuer bank validates the request by deciphering the card verification value. Once the dynamic card verification value is validated, the issuer bank checks the customer's credit balance against the transaction amount and authorizes the request. The issuer bank passes back the authorization response to the payment network, which in turn passes it back to the merchant's bank. The merchant's bank passes it back to the point of sales terminal and this is the point where your transaction is approved. The point of sales terminal further transmits the information to the iPhone through the near field communication so that you receive a check on your iPhone that the transaction was approved. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. If you like this content then please subscribe to my channel to not miss any more videos. See you next time.